Well, I guess I really need to work on my gentleness. Oops. Hello everyone, I'm Jia, your friendly fan girl. Welcome back to another unboxing time. Following my previous video, I have some ideas for boxes. I'll use them as stands. So I may even do backdrop. We shall see. Let's have a moment silence for the ASM. So at first I wanted to just get these two, continue version, then I thought these two are so cool looking, look at them waving the sword, then I'm like, show me my favorite in Sexy Zone, I need to get one of him too. Then I'm like, I'm just going to get a full stack anyway, since I'm just one stand away, let the unwrapping begin. Guess who will be the first to be unwrapped? Well, clearly we are off to a great start. <laughs> you guessed it, we'll have our main lead first, which is Domono Koichi. The stand for the acrylic stands are round this time, which I'm not quite a fan of. It's not easy to put them, you know, nicely. And this is the eternal version. Even the years are labelled on it. And Don Koichi has a bright smile here. Clearly he's fooling around. But he, I appreciate how he views the acrylic stand. Taking us on the tour is like keeping kidnap us. The catch at the bottom is actually quite tight. So we set it aside and we can move on to showries. I'll be more I was more careful this time. So this ASMR sound was really relaxing. And the stand on the bottom is the transparent type. You can look at Shori smiling for the stand. Such a cutie. It's great you need you need some push to keep the stand snug with to each other. Lay him down behind beside our Sacho. We have the last stand which is Kitayama Hiromitsu. Here's him with the lovely flower in his hands. He stands and he has the same bottom as the rest. And a closer look at the stand, and we all know guys in white suits. Don't go wrong. Here are three of them together. Very pleasant looking. So the next set is the Japanese show set, which is simply Japanese style. So enjoying every, we are learning new words every day. And this time the stand is in red. You can see that Koichi has a very different look over here. It's a very badass look. Details on the clothing are just as great. Especially they bring in the traditional clothing details. At the back, with his back skirt on, he's actually wider than his actual stand. So, next up we have Shuttle Shori. Similar as before, we have the main stand and the bottom stand. The focal point of Shori's outfit is actually the armor and the feathers. Such a Johnny move. Look at how Shori is holding his sword more of a defensive position. Squeezing Shori onto the bottom of his stand. Then last but not the least, Kitayama in the Japanese set. I like the way he holds his sword, it's like he's ready to fight. Same stem bottom stand and you can see his hands protection and the feathers. He has lots of drapes around him too, maybe because he did a skit in the play, you know, just like a reference to his group and lets him fix him onto the bottom stand. And look at them side by side, it's really pleasing to the eyes. Here's me trying to find the best way to place them in front of the camera. And to no one's surprise, I've been playing with all these acrylic stands as short. So if you have more idea on how to play with them on the short, please send them over. I can give you a shout out too. And if you want to support my channel and my expensive hobby so you can have more in-depth looks, please, you know, like, comment, and share, and so it can help me out. And stay hydrated. Bye-bye! Oh!